All right, long day of surgery, and this person here doesn't know how to palm a needle driver. So I'm going to show you how to do this, and this is one of those things that you just got to know how to do. All right, so stop looking at me, look at the instrument. So when you palm a needle driver, most people think you're supposed to put it in here like this, and this is how you use it. That is not how you use it. It is designed technically to have this finger in it a little bit, and this thumb right here, okay? Now, the interesting part about it is sometimes it slips in, it's not a big deal, but if I gotta put it down real quick, I can do that. Versus if I have to, we have my fingers in here like this and I gotta unclamp something, I kinda gotta do a weird thing to get it out. Now, another way to do it, and this gives you better range of motion so you can no matter where you're sewing, you can do this. Whereas if you got your fingers in there like this, you kind of can't do it as much. Versus here, you can go everywhere. And you can turn it easy. Now, palming is when you actually don't put your fingers in any of the holes at all. So what you do is you're grabbing it, three and four on the outside, and your palm is here. Okay? So we call it palming because it's in. So you can open it just by pushing up, pulling down, pushing up, pulling down, pushing up, pulling down, and it's free to where you can turn it like this. Now the hardest part of this is this part here, opening it without putting your fingers in it. You can either push over, see that, or you can push down on these on this part of it without moving if the thumb at all but it's being caught here so it's not just like popping up so you can put a needle driver we don't have a needle mm, got this <laughs> work so Grab it, holding it, and I can drop it. So this is what you got to work on. Palming it, and you can hear it open. Let's see. A little ASMR. So when you're at home, what you want to do is practice just opening and closing it and rotating. And even if you put a finger in here, that's fine to start out to hook it. But you actually don't need to do that at all. All right, let's see what you got. Let's see how long turn around so I can watch you. See how bad it is. All right, let's see. There you go. I wish they could see this stupid ass look on your face. This stupid ass look you have on your face. <laughs> That's priceless. She was like a four year old <laughs> playing with a new toy. It's ridiculous. Better. And you see how it doesn't pop up all the way? Mm -hmm. So they will give you bad needle drivers that pop up too far and they're too tight. So those ones are worse than anything. The most important thing, though, is you got to remember is that usually you have gloves on so it will catch it so it's not as bad. So that's also how we open a lot of hemostats without having to stick my fingers all the way through when you're trying to get something. <laughs> Struggle bus. Struggle bus is real. <laughs> about to pass out over here trying to get this shit down. All right, let me see it. So again, I'm going to see if I can do a close-up real quick. So hold it with, you can start out with, I use my fourth finger. 
open it. But you can actually put the whole thing in. And in that case, you can see I have three, four, and five pushing down. And my thumb is on top of it so it doesn't spring all the way open. Or you can push it, if you're opening it, you can push out. But even when you do that, you can see I have my finger kind of, not all the way over it, but kind of on it. And it's pressing down so it's caught on my gloves so when it opens, I'm catching it right there. And then you rotate it. And if you want to push on these four. And you can push right here if you want to, but you can push anywhere. Or you can do this one, which is, I don't like this style, but you actually push it and push out. So you're pushing down and out. So when you're sewing, you go here, here, you can push down and close. You can push down another clip and open it because you know it's got those ridges as you can see. So this is really the mitt which you should be practicing if you have an instrument before you get on your surgery rotation, being able to do this. All right, slow girl, let's see what you got. She's not slow. She's reasonable. With D1 athletes and shit like that? Two. D2, it's close enough. She's a real athlete. She's getting it. Except she's using all of her fingers. <laughs> she's using two, three, four, and five, when she should only be using three, four, and five. Where is this? Wherever you want her to. Hanging out, supporting. See that silly face she's making? Show them that silly face you <laughs> Her mouth wide open. It's awful. <laughs> Hope your parents aren't on YouTube. Yeah, but there you go. <laughs> I can't show <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to send it to them. I'm find out your parents are. Now look at your little silly daughter. <laughs> her brother was a D1 athlete. He can't have y'all out like, running around looking crazy. All right, so you get the gist. That's it. Oh man. Alright, it was a good day. I don't know. How many cases we did today? Eight, nine, eight? I think we did eight cases a day. Uh nine. Oh yeah. Alright. Work. I'm going home. Go to now I gotta go work out. Bye.